Hey fine fam, welcome back to Living the Fine Life. My name is Narita Miller and before we continue, don't forget to subscribe, comment below, give this video a big thumbs up. Guys, it's free. We appreciate your support and showing love by subscribing. In today's video, I want to talk about Vlogmas. So, I did briefly announce a few vlogs ago that I was going to do Vlogmas this year, which is a decision that may seem so easy or natural like of course we're gonna do vlogmas um but at the same time it's not that easy because vlogmas comes with a lot of um planning and strategizing and it is a big commitment now depending how you do vlogmas or whether you do vlogmas or not um vlogging itself and having a channel is a commitment and it is a lot of work the editing the vlogging time you use sometimes you, there's materials you need to purchase and it's hard even for those who aren't even monetized yet just saying <laughs> but we're gonna get there we're gonna get there it's not the main reason why i do youtube um the original reason wasn't just to get monetized but i would love to get monetized i mean who wouldn't right but that's not the point of this video it's just saying that if you are a youtuber planning on doing vlogmas um i want to help you and give you some ideas this may be your first vlogmas and you're here um, looking for some tips and tricks or for some assistance and how you could make that process smoother and if you're someone watching just curious about vlogmas check it out and enjoy so um, my first year uh, doing vlogmas I did it a little bit different so vlogmas is usually where youtubers vlog for 25 days leading to Christmas. So usually beginning December 1st or the night before and posting December 1st every single day until Christmas day. So it's blog miss like Christmas, get it? All right, super cute, I love it. But then some people switch it up. Some people do it just once a week until December 25th and it's just all Christmas related vlogs or videos. Some people um, don't do vlogs at all, vlogmas at all and that's fine. And other people do 12 days till Christmas. I actually did this my first time doing vlogmas because I wanted to dip my feet in the water and I think the 12 days till Christmas is perfect for that. If you've never done it before and it's more of a commitment than what you're usually posting, then it is something to consider. So I called it a rendition to the 12 days till Christmas song. So what I did was starting 12 days prior to Christmas, leading up, I was uh, posting a vlog every single day and I tried to make it as uh, holidays or Christmas related as possible, but it doesn't always have to. It's just that you're posting consistency leading up to Christmas day. But this year, I'm gonna challenge myself to go with the full 25 days till Christmas as vlogmas so on my vlogmas is going to be full 25 days and in order to do that hopefully you know successfully you have to have a plan you have to strategize and plan ahead and think ahead and and or do i need to get any materials what types of videos am i going to get right so i'm going to go into those first steps number one step number one is thinking am i going to do vlogmas can i commit to 12 or 25 days leading to christmas Think about that real quick. So you want to do Vlogmas, but can you commit? And that is a question I had to ask myself even this year when I was like so happy and really wanted to do it and wanted to just go ahead and, and jump in head on for a challenge is can I? Because um, I don't want to commit to something and promise you know the viewers or you as the viewer thank you for being here so much that i would post every day and then just be skipping days because it is hard and if you do vlogmas and you skip a few days because life got hard or your schedule got hard or whatever the case was it's okay don't beat yourself up about it we understand we're forgiving but at the same time um you know don't if you could prevent over committing prior why not so i still work full time so to vlog every single day, I would need to have a little bit more structure because editing time does take more of an effort and does take more time itself. So to have the video posted today and vlog and then have another video posted by tomorrow, edit it by tomorrow when I work eight to nine hour shifts, something to think about. So are you working right now? How long are you working? Um, by what time do you get home? Or even if you're working from home, do you have time? Do you have, you know, what responsibilities you have? It's just to think about, maybe you just do 12 days to Christmas and that works perfectly fine. It's your channel, get creative, be, you know, um, 
enthusiastic about it and enjoy it. You have to enjoy it. that shows through your videos and just have fun with it, guys. It's Christmas. <laughs> so the next thing is once you've decided if you're going to do Vlogmas or not and how long is make a list. So I did do this a few days ago and it's something that really helped me map out the different types of videos and ideas that I had for Vlogmas videos, you know, to, to be able to post. And um, so if you're going to do Vlogmas for 25 days leading to Christmas, get a sheet, Vlogmas, simple, highlight it, underline it, however you like to do your notes, or maybe in your notes section of your app, um, if, if you prefer to use your notes app on your phone, or if you like the good old fashioned pen and paper like I did, I needed to write it out and have it there in my journal and say, all right, Vlogmas 2020, do you have a theme? Do you have, you know, what ideas you have? And then uh, put the num number it. So I did 1 to 10, 11 to 20, and then 22 to 25, or 1 to 3, 4, 5 until 25, or 1 to 12 days. And then write down the ideas. Maybe it doesn't have to be a specific order, but you start to brainstorm and get those ideas flowing. The next thing is look at what you got and see the it in the big picture and step number three is do i need any materials so without me giving that away because i can't give you all the details of what i'm going to do for vlogmas i want you to find out you're going to join come back to our channel and you're going to see what type of things we're going to do it's going to be super fun i'm super excited about this i knew that i needed to get some uh christmas related a uh, winter related um clothes for our puppies and for shaheen and i there's going to be some that we're going to be matching a uh, Christmas and we wanted to, uh, you know, our dogs to have the fun with us too and uh, showcase them in some of the videos. So this is the tiny bit that I'm going to show you guys just as an example so you can see what I'm doing here um, and what's working for me and what I could share to work for you too is I went ahead and I found Christmas related. Isn't this adorable? I want to... I love it. <laughs> Christmas related sweaters, like cute and ugly sweaters for our dogs. And this one too, but I yet to find Chloe's because they ran out of, their, it's out of stock right now. So things like that. So, you know, do I have to purchase anything? Does this fit my, my allowance, my budget, my, my, my financial game plan for December? It's the holidays. You you don't have to always do a vlog or a video that's going to be so costly. Maybe um, now that you've seen what you have on paper and if it's going to cost you too much and you're like, no, it's not worth it for me, then just, you know, switch your idea around, you know, maybe, maybe tweak it. Maybe you have something around the house you have, um, and you may not need to buy anything at all to do the, the vlogmas. So that's something to think about, right? Now, once you have your ideas down and all that, and you know how much it may cost, depending on what you want to do and if you can do it or not. And after you tweak it, the next thing is scheduling. This is super important. I recommend to plan ahead you, the recordings for your videos, especially because you have to post it every single day. Okay, guys, this is something that's going to help. In YouTube, you have the option to schedule your videos ahead of time. Now, I don't recommend scheduling too many of them too ahead of time because you still don't um, want to lose the... the essence of the timing of the video or maybe if you have to do it like that maybe still put the date of the video and then just post every single day for vlogmas maybe it's not a general vlog maybe there are certain themes or topics and in that case go ahead schedule on have them prepared so i know i have some days off um for winter break and i'm working on content 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 so that I have things to post every single day. I'm not going to wait until December 1st to record my first Vlogmas video and try to edit it by that day. You know why? Because I may not have the time, realistically speaking, to do it all on December 1st because A, I'm still working and B, it is, you know, it is something that's time consuming. So prior to December 1st, I'm going to record and edit my video to have a schedule for December 1st. You see, catch my drift then so on so forth i'll be ready for the second day the third day etc leading to december 25th so it's about really 
thinking, can I realistically commit to doing Vlogmas, whether 12 days or 25 days, or really however you want to do it. Um, and then uh, what's my creativity? What type of content do I want to have? Boom, my ideas. Is this going to cost anything? Um, do I need to incorporate certain ideas that's going to cost something? Maybe I don't need to spend anything for my videos. It, it's it's cost. It is, um, you know, uh, relativity. It is, you know, is this realistic for me? Can I do it? Um, how specific do I want to be? Um, what videos can I do without having to go out and purchase a bunch of items that may later on be unnecessary? Worth it for the video, definitely. Um, but maybe, you know, it's just unnecessary. Um, and then fourth thing is strategize and plan for the post. Strategize your posting. Strategize your, your filming and your editing ahead of time, okay? Five is be prepared. So be prepared if there is a day or so that you won't be able to record, have some videos there on your, um, you know, on your drafts or have maybe a sit down Q&A video or maybe a live that's much easier. That's much easier because there'll be less editing and that way you will still be able to meet that post day. But overall, guys, Vlogmas isn't something that you should stress too much. Have fun with it. Like I said earlier, it does reflect in your videos and, you know, embrace it. You know, give it a try. If you miss a day or two, no big deal. What you can do too to help with that is that in the following uh, video, you can do the Vlogmas for both days. So let's say you miss day 11. Then you're like, sugars. I miss day 11 of Vlogmas, you know, things got busy as the holidays, shopping, prepping, cooking, whatever the case was. And then what you can do is for the following Vlogmas day, you can do Vlogmas day 11 and 12 in that one video. So you technically didn't miss Vlogmas day 11. Just saying. <laughs> but guys, I really hope that this helped you. That is what I'm doing as well. I already got started with my game plan and trying to really um, stick to the schedule and have uh, the Vlogmas content for you guys every single day from December 1st to December 21st. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button. And as we always say here at Living the Fine Life, stay well, be blessed, and continue to live the fine life. Bye-bye.